Um, just explain how the how rivalry week is to you. Um, before I came to Clemson, um, I really had no knowledge on the Clemson South Carolina rivalry, but obviously it's a huge rivalry. And um, as Coach Sweeney likes to say, you get their records out the window. It's really just about uh, what team just comes to play, is mentally prepared, and has the best preparation throughout the week. I asked Coach Sweeney this. They deprived you guys of probably going to the playoff last year and also ended your home, home game winning streak. Um, you have the chance to deprive them of going to a bowl. Does that add any extra juice to, to the robbery, or is it already as juiced up as it can possibly be? Um, that's definitely a thought to think about, but I, I feel like it's already as juiced up as it is just this being a rivalry game in that, in that nature. Um, it's just one of those games that uh, you wish, that you grew up wishing to play in. So it's a huge honor and me and the guys are excited uh, to just go out there and give it our all last game. It was, it was very meaningful. I mean, um, having both of us be able to play is a huge help to our offense. I feel like, um, you know, I feel like we can both be used in many different ways and just feed off each other's energy and just to support each other throughout the game. So it's very useful and I'm very appreciative for that. I think they were saying yesterday that it's on the fumble that Will had that was red in his eyes that Uh, yeah, I mean, I could tell that he was definitely frustrated with the play um, and talked to him and we we all talked to him and he he knew that we needed him to win this game. Like he was going to be a huge contributor to us winning that game. So um, as coach talks about, um, we just have to forget about the play, a bad play that we made and just continue to go out through the game. And um you know, just have a short memory and uh, just continue to do you. And that's what exactly what he did. He responded great. And you saw he helped us win that game. How hard was it on him not being able to play in the game? Dang it. Uh, it was definitely, definitely sad for him, but um, he knew that uh, the guys in our room had the capability to get it done. And he just gave us encouragement um, going into the game. And, you know, just Coach Spiller, just giving us encouragement just helped a lot and allowed us to just go out there and just fight for the team, uh, keep the standard up, and, you know, we got the result that we wanted. The fact that you start or you don't start doesn't have an effect on how much you're going to play in a football game. But you've been listed as that starter these last couple of games. What's that feel like? How important is that, despite the fact that it doesn't mean anything about how many carries you're going to get? Um, it's important because just being the first guy out there, I just know I have the responsibility to just give the team my all and give us a great start um, whenever, you know, having the ball in my hands or not. Um, just going out there and producing and helping us lead, you know, and I take a huge, um, I take, it's, it's big to me, honestly, and uh, I really feel like I need to, you know, be able to, uh, hold my own when I'm out there and just the opportunity to go out there and uh, just support the team and give them my all. So. Will, just one touchdown to tie Coach Spiller's uh, career touchdown record. Does, does Will ever talk? Do you, do you talk about that? Nah, I, I had no clue about that, but that's amazing. And I have no doubt that he will be able to do that. Will you say something to Coach? Or? Uh, he probably will. <laughs> he probably, they'll probably go back and forth about it, but that's an amazing feat. So hopefully um, he's able to get that done. Phil Dabo stressed the importance of uh, taking care of the ball. I think he said in the five years that you guys lost five straight, uh, South Carolina was led the turnover margin. With the mistakes you guys have made turning over the ball, describe how important it is to uh, be clean this game in the biggest game in the state this uh, week. 
Um, you know, as you all have seen throughout the season, ball security and um, the ball is everything in this game. And um, just minor details and everything really play a huge part in a football game. And, um, you know, things like that just happen. You never want a fumble to happen, but sometimes it just doesn't go your way. But um, our part is just to keep practicing and being able to keep repping, just um, holding on to the ball and just doing what we can and just continuing to get better and better with that. Um, a running back never means to fumble or no one ever means to lose the ball, but um, we just got to keep repping it and getting better, being more intentional with it. And we know to, and we know um, in order to have success and win a game that the ball is important. So that's definitely a top priority in all of our minds. Touchdown on the fourth down, the direct snap. Um, could call a timeout right before that. Did, did they call the play during that timeout? And how excited were you about that play? What was going through your mind? Yeah, we he called a play during the timeout, and um, I just knew it was fourth and one. We needed one yard, and we were at the three, so I just knew that I had to get one yard. And um, definitely happy um, the ball guy entrusted to me in fourth and one. We were able to get the first to touchdown. But, um, yeah, just glad the guys fought out there on the field and um, were able to get the push, the exact angle that we need, exactly how we practiced it. So, um that's what you saw out there. You threw a pass against Georgia Tech um, unsuccessfully, unfortunately. <laughs> but, um, when you're in that formation, do you have that option? Uh, nah, that was, that was definitely a design play. Um, but, you know, it didn't go exactly according to how it was supposed to go. But that's all right. You may, you win some of those and you lose some. But uh, I hope I just wish I could have got it off a little earlier. I feel like I could have gave Kate a better pass on my part. Cognizant of that, if, when you're in Wildcat, hey, he might actually throw a ball. Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, I've thrown two passes in my career, so I mean, definitely, um, maybe cognizant of that. But you know, that's just something we talk about on basis. It just depends on the game, the scenario, and what coach wants to do. So. Remember about playing at Williams Bryce and, and that atmosphere, and how much does a hostile environment motivate you and fuel you? You know, it's a great atmosphere, and um, you know that's just as I said earlier, um, one of the things that you dreamt of um, growing up playing this game, just being able to play a rival game like this and be in a hostile environment. You know, it's it's what you want, and. I definitely accept the challenge. I know the guys on the team do, and we're just excited to be able to go out there and uh, do what we can to win and um, just accept the feels of the game um, and just take it all in the last one of the season. Obviously, you'll have a decision to make at the end of the year. Have you thought about that? Have you, have you come to a conclusion whether you want to come back, try the NFL? Um, right now, I'm honestly really just focused on finishing closing out South Carolina and bowl game and just thinking about that after after you know we get um these priorities done so favorite Thanksgiving food um I have to say mac and cheese for sure yeah any questions for Phil virtually Anybody else in the room? All right, thank you, Phil. Thank you all.